Okay. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A six-year-old boy presents to the pediatrician with a limp and mild pain in his right hip. His mother reports the pain has been present for a few weeks and seems to be worsening. Um, physical examination reveals a limitation of internal rotation and abduction of the right hip joint. An x-ray of the hip is performed and shows irregularity and flattening of the right femoral head. Okay. Um, I go ahead and thinking like, um, I think this is leg calf perth disease, but I'm, I think that's right. But Oscar Slatter is wrong because that's the one where you have kids who are like hyperactive and they have knee pain, not hip pain. Okay, good. Um, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. I don't think this is looking like arthritis, especially because the irregularity and flattening of the head is telling us like necrosis of the, um, okay, um good. congenital hip dysplasia. I think that's like literally congenital. So like very early in life, not six years old. Good. And slipped cap femoral epiphysis. I think that's they would talk about like, oh yeah, he's this person is very overweight. Good. And um, so I'm gonna go with that. I think that's right. Yeah, you worked through that beautifully. Um, I think that you're you're hitting all the marks, right? You're looking at the age, right? You're looking at the um chief complaint, the symptoms, right? The acuity of it, right? Um, the physical exam of it, and then of course the x-ray, the imaging of it, flattening of the former head. So you're already thinking about necrosis. So definitely for sure, everything on a clinical standpoint points to C, and then you kind of ruled out everything else clinically. So you're working through questions really, really good. Great, great, good to hear.